Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss about orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. Let us take a point P whose Cartesian coordinate is x, y, z. Now, this Cartesian coordinate can be expressed as a function of u, v, w. Let us take the set as 1. Now, u, v, w also can be expressed as the functions of x, y, z. v also and w also. Let us take the set as 2. If the sets 1 or 2 whose functions are of single value and possesses continuous partial derivatives, then these expressions are unique. If the expressions are unique, then the coordinate u v w is called the curvilinear coordinates. Now let us draw the coordinate system x y z and take the point p and let us take the coordinate surfaces u s c 1 v c 2 w C3, where C1, C2, C3 are constants. U, V, W. Look here, if, uh, look here, the coordinate surfaces, say u equals to c1, v equals to c2, they touch or intersect at the coordinate curve or line. If these coordinate surfaces each of these coordinate surfaces intersect perpendicularly, then the curvilinear coordinate is called orthogonal. Now let us take the tangent vector at u at v and at W. So the tangent vectors to U, V, W are del R del U if R is the position vector of P del R del U del r del v del r del w let us take the unit tangent vectors as e u e v E w to the curves u v w respectively then okay these are unit tangent vectors
Jeffs. EU is del R del U by modulus of del R del U. EV is del R del V by modulus of del R del V. EW is del R del W by modulus of del R del W. If we take H U as modulus of del R del U, H V as modulus of del R del V, and H W as modulus of del R del W, then del R del U, that U, uh, the tangent vectors are E U h u del r del v is e v h v and del r del w is e w h w if we take the normals to the curves u v w as e u e v and E W then E U is back del U by modulus del U E V is back del V by modulus of back del V and E W as back del W by modulus of back del W uh, here H U H V and H W are called the scale vectors and E U E V E W and capital E U capital E V capital E W are called the unit base vectors. Now any vector A can be expressed as A one E one plus a2 e2 plus a3 e3 where e1 is u here e2 is ev here e3 is ew here and also it can be expressed as a1 eu plus a2 ev plus a3 e Earlier we have discussed Cartesian coordinate transformation to cylindrical and spherical. So here If we take the cylindrical coordinate transformation, then x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta, z equals to z. And in spherical system, here, here x, y, z to r theta z and x equals to r sin theta cos phi y equals to r sin theta sin phi z equals to r cos theta here x y z transform to r theta phi so both are the special cases of orthogonal curvilinear coordinate systems. Here H H R equals to one, H theta equals to R and H Z is one. And uh, R varies for Zero to 
infinity so r is greater equals to 0 and theta is less than 2 pi and greater equals to 0 and z is less than infinity to minus minus infinity to infinity and spherical system where h r is 1 h theta is r and h phi is r sin theta in this case r is always greater equals to 0 and theta range is less than equals to pi to greater equals to 0 and phi less than 2 pi to greater equals to 0.